Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well during this time. My name is Emily and in this video, I am testing out a new application that I downloaded the other day called Autodesk Sketchbook. This is my second time drawing on this application. When I first tested out this drawing application, I created this drawing frivolously as displayed on the screen just to test out what this Autodesk Sketchbook offers. Of course, it is unfinished, and it is a depiction of sadness. I do not have much experience doing digital art, and I am currently using my 10-year-old Wacom bamboo tablet to draw on. The purpose of me drawing on a different medium is to practice digital art, as digital art isn't something I have done much of before. My favorite media to make art with are pencil and pen and ink, in case you wanted to know. As a beginner, I think Autodesk Sketchbook is pretty easy to follow in my opinion. It offers lots of different drawing tools built into the sketchbook and more tools could be downloaded under extras. The more I drew, the steadier my hands became and the more I became comfortable with the components within this app. I hope you enjoy watching me detail this eye, from sketching it to adding color to adding more precise details. As I started doing digital art the other day, I do see many improvements I could make as I gain more control in my hand and become more comfortable with the components of this sketchbook. The lines are a bit rough and unsteady, but I do love the way I laid out the colors and blended it all together. As you probably did not know, I am obsessed with experimenting with makeup and colors, so I was very excited to do the makeup and color portion of this drawing. As you can see, I am detailing the iris and the black part within the iris, which is also known as the pupil. It was slightly difficult for me to do the strokes within the iris because I was still getting used to comfortably holding the stylus and the tablet while maneuvering around the drawing in a circular direction. So I did short strokes here and there while trying to make it look as realistic as possible. I used various shades of brown to show depth in the iris, and later I will be blending out the strokes just slightly to reduce the harshness of them. The light and glimmer on the eye is very intense, but it does add to the artificialness of the eye, if you will. <laughs> but for now, please sit back and relax as I complete this eye look. Moving on to the white part of the eye, which is anatomically known as the sclera, I added some shadows using a crosshatch type brush in the brush library. I added some shadow in the outer corners of the eyeball and the top part where the eyeball meets the upper lid. I gradually added deeper shadows as shadows aren't just one color of course. This gives it a more realistic appearance. For the eyeshadow, I decided to go for a pink smoky eye. I created a gradient with various shades of pink and red going from light to dark. Like doing the eye makeup in real life, I first laid out the base color and started building up from there from light to dark. And as the saying goes, don't forget to blend. I then edited the lower lash line, the upper lash line, and the tear duct to give them the shadows and colors they needed. I did spend a lot of time editing the eyeshadow colors on the upper and lower lids to have them the way I wanted them to look and the colors I wanted them to be displayed as. And by now, I felt I was a little bit more comfortable with the sketchbook and with using the stylus and tablet, 
especially with doing more general and imprecise techniques. Moving on to the eyelashes, I also had some difficulty with drawing them individually, especially realistically. I felt my hand tense up while holding onto the stylus in order to yield more controlled and precise eyelash strokes. It did not turn out the way I wanted them to look, but it is worth the practice. It kind of depicts the look of false lashes or mascara, which was what I was aiming for. Here, I add a black eyeliner to the upper lash line and the lower lash line to complete the makeup look. I decided to go for a winged look.
finish off the drawing, I added color to the background. I think it gives a more sultry look to the entire drawing. I did have difficulty, as you can see, picking the perfect brush to write my signature, but I ended up picking up the brush that looks good and wrote my signature based on the type of brush I chose. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please stay safe and well at home and help flatten the curve. Again, my name is Emily and I wish you the best in everything you put your mind into. Bye!